Happy weekend everyone! Today I wanted to show you my uh, small palettes and also unboxing of this Composal by Mungio palette which seems similar to Art Toolkit Folio palette but also feels quite a bit heavier so let's get started first of all I really like Art Toolkit this I have a original palette and the whole bag here I keep my um, tiny pieces uh, and I buy them uh, all the time to create new palettes I created one palette for a friend recently uh, and they're really good and I keep buying them from Art Toolkit but the thing uh, with this one is that it's not steel so it's not magnetic uh, so there is a magnetic sheet inside it but it doesn't magnet itself um, so what I did is I bought a steel card holders from Muji uh, and they do uh, stick to magnets very well and this is my main palette uh, that I carry with me all the time so this is my main colors that I like to use uh, and here I actually took a magnetic white board I bought a big like A3 and I just cut the pieces out of it so I can take it out and clean and then it sticks as a magnet to this steel card holder I have another one when I go really like not to carry with me all the time but when I go sketching uh, with friends I have uh, another one with additional colors just to have more to play with if I want to uh, but frankly like this one is uh, pretty much enough for me uh, for basic uh, sketches and when you do it on the go pretty fast you don't need too many colors but just in case I have the second one with my favorite ones in uh, the original I store some spare colors that I if I took something and I put it in a palette but then I decided to replace it then I put it here and sometimes I take it out um, if I basically change them again I also have this big non-steel I don't know why I bought it frankly like I just wanted to try the size uh, also from Muji and uh, I have here my tiny five rosy gallery palette I will make another separate video about it it's I think a really a good combination of very nice mixing colors and I added here the transparent brown oxide color uh, which helps to make it even more better balanced but I will tell you about it later so coming to this one I saw that now Mungio does uh, you know that's this uh, what is it Asian some Chinese not Chinese I don't know uh, producer uh, uh, they uh, do some paints but I saw that now they're doing this palettes and uh, I thought oh that's that's very interesting let's let's compare them uh, and I also bought a separate uh, separate pens yes okay that's how they're called so if we look at the art toolkit pens you already see that they are smaller so you cannot really replace our toolkit pens with this ones these ones are bigger but maybe it's a good thing for someone so I decided to show you and then they have this mixing pens uh, it's I think size medium and size large and you saw me already using one of this medium mixing pens here actually so I plan to use them because I really like uh, 
well, first of all, they're much cheaper than to order uh, mixing pans uh, of our toolkit here in Europe, but also they are bigger and the edges are a bit higher, if you can see. So you can mix a bit more in them. Okay. And now let's look at the main big thing. This one I bought because I really wanted to try Art Toolkit Folio, but I think it's uh, it might be a bit too big for me. That's why I bought even bigger one to try. Uh, so let's open it. By the way, I love this small ceramic knife. Can very much recommend. And it seems to be... Oh yeah, it is magnetic, so you can uh, put it on the table, I don't know, fridge, whatever. Okay, so let's open it. Okay, here it is. Oh, shiny. You can see my phone. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, okay. Uh, how do we deal with the shine? We'll just open it really fast. Compose your own colors like a puzzle. That's very nice. I already am not sure if I would like it because I can tell you like it's super heavy. It's like heavier than your usual uh, 12 pence palette, but it's also bigger. So there is this button to open it. Whoop. Oh, oh, look at this. They have the space for mixing here because it's, okay, well, first let's fix this one. Because it's like this, it's also deep here on the side. So you can have the whole mixing space and this one. Oh, that's interesting. It's still, I'm still not happy that it's so heavy, but I am, I am now intrigued because like, uh, I'm not sure that I personally would carry this around because like, yeah, it's, um, let me, let me check my other palettes and I will tell you like how heavy it is. Okay, I want it to be really useful here. So I went uh, to the kitchen and I took kitchen weight. So we can check. Look, with the pants, without the paint, it's 240 grams. To compare it, the steel palette that I carry is 85 grams. Our toolkit, it's lighter than steel because it's aluminum, is 60. My plastic palette, Fango, 143. Standard empty palette, oh now you don't see it. 109 full palette 180 and my huge studio palette full of Roman small is 470. I'm not gonna carry this one anywhere further than my living room. So again this palette 178 weights about the same as the full palette of paints and plastic pens full to the brim so it's about it's about the same weight see and plus there will be paints in it and the difference in paints 180 and here we have some paints, 94. So see, 
like paints almost double the weight of this palette at least. Um, so here it is. Now conclusion. Uh, how would I use it? Uh, and would I use it at all? I think I would. I'm not gonna fill it in, frankly, like anytime soon because I'm really happy with this one. Uh, and I really, I don't have a car uh, and in the Netherlands you don't really need it if you live somewhere in the bigger cities. Um, so I really carry uh, things on me uh, all the time. Um, so this one for carrying like every day for sure no go for me for carrying sometimes for the sketching sessions also i just i don't think i need that much what i might do though is to actually well there are two things uh one that i'm thinking is that i wouldn't use the smaller pens i would really use like this bigger pens or even even bigger like this square I really like and um, if I ever start painting bigger because now I mainly have a5 uh, sketchbooks and then I will need to let me take um yeah here like bigger brush right if if I would do that and also when uh, we're thinking about uh, having a car maybe uh, in a year or two and to start uh, driving more around the country and uh, generally in Europe, then I would make this palette and I would maybe start using bigger sketchbooks and then I would take it with me in, in my car because I really like um, that it's flat Again, I have here like uh, palettes to compare, right? So it's much flatter, two times probably. Uh, and it's big, so for the, for the bigger brushes or like just if you like, you know, having this wider pans, that's a really nice one. And you have a huge amount of mixing space. I really like this one. So you can do that, or you can also the medium pants, they are basically one third. Oh no, they're not, huh, okay. Uh, well, if you want to have three here, you probably need to have one medium mixing space. Uh, not, I don't have it here, one small. Okay, so, oops, that's that. What is it? Oh, that was stick to the side and it, got loose huh well yeah it's it might be not the super good quality like our toolkits but it's also quite a different palette um so here you have it uh again that's that's the name uh if you're interested uh I think you might search for it on Amazon. Uh, I bought it uh, from our local uh, big art store. I think it was either Van Beek Art, it's a Dutch store, or uh, another one, I don't remember. Oh, Gersteiker, uh, it's a um, German one. I will leave the links down below. Um, so uh, that's it and have a great day.